and welcome to the final Q&A before the launch of Stronghold Warlords. We have been collecting questions from all over the internet, so YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, but mainly from our Discord, so if you haven't joined that yet, the invite link will be below. Um, thank you to everyone who submitted a question to us. If your question wasn't answered in this video or in the next ones that we release, please do check any of our previous Q&A videos because it, chances are it might be in one of those. Um, so as I said, today is going to be the first of three Q&A videos. And today I am joined by Nick. Hello. Who has all of the answers about Stronghold Warlords. How are you, Nick? Most of the answers. Don't have all the answers. <laughs> Some of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Uh, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Should we, uh, should we get cracking with the, the first question? Our first question is from somebody called Everyone. And Everyone asks, will Warlords have the attack move command? Yes, it will. Um, it's just control and right mouse button. I'm assuming that's what RMB means from developers. and I'm not, I'm not really up to date with the lingo. Lingo. Linguo. <laughs> Lingo. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Question number two is from uh, Mate GH7. Uh, will there be Czech subtitles? Uh, no Czech subtitles, unfortunately, no. But we've got a full list of um, languages we'll be supporting. So uh, go on the Steam Store page if you're unsure, and uh, that should be up to date. Uh, cool. Next question is from Jergi. Jergi asks, can I make a Slovak translation? Yeah, we're actually getting quite a lot of requests for different languages on this one, way more than um, we usually do. Um, essentially, the languages that we've chosen before launch are based on the number of wish lists we've had, you know, come in for those territories. So it's, it's definitely decided on, you know, wh whether we think we're going to actually make the money back or not, which is a decision we have to make as a small developer. Um, but we have in the past done some fan translations and, and been able to incorporate those into the game. Um, but it, that totally depends on the project. Um, so what I would say was just, um, you know, come to us again after launch uh, if you're serious about it and um, we'll, we'll have a look at it. Grant, um, uh, we've had a lot of questions about that for different languages. So absolutely pop us an email. Um, so the next question is Davros94. Will there be multi-generational gameplay like in Crusader Kings? <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, the game's already like pretty, pretty complex for an RTS, so you sadly won't be able to kill or marry your relations like you've been able to do in the Crusader Kings series, and we just can't compete with those kind of crazy patch notes, so no, sadly <laughs> not. Uh, the next question is from Drakenwriter. Uh, he asks, or they ask, uh, will Warlords have announcers from previous Stronghold titles? Um, no. It's all set in East Asia, obviously, so <laughs> we don't really want Liverpudlian or Birmingham accents <laughs> in, in East Asia. As funny as that would be to people who, knows that, who know those accents. Um, but no, it'll be all new, all new voice acting for the game. I miss the Geordies, though. They were my favourites. Yeah, they'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> um, the same person again asks, how about scaling roads depending on the number of peasants? Okay, um, we've we've actually worked out the kind of final system for roads. Um, we're trying to kind of balance what is a cool new feature with the core stronghold gameplay, and we don't want castles just to be overtaken by roads and road design and everything just turn into a massive, you know, production grid, which is kind of, you know, what we what we like to think separates us from other uh, city builder style games. Um, so basically roads are going to give you uh, bonuses to certain buildings when they're connected to the keep. Um, so I think they need to be connected to the front of the keep and that will be made obvious in the gameplay. Um, but essentially uh, temples, for example, will uh, cover more housing with their spirit buff and um, diplomacy buildings uh, like the embassy and consulates will generate um, more diplomacy when they're connected. So a nice kind of like seamless way of, of integrating it into the core strong gameplay. Sounds good. Um, the next question is from uh, Grin and they ask, will there be balance updates after release? Yep, there will be balance updates um, and other, hopefully other kind of updates. Um, obviously it will depend on how the game does at launch, but um, if it's received pretty well, we'll, yeah, we'll invest in it. But we are pretty open to player feedback as well. So if, you know, there's a, a mechanic that's massively OP, and everyone says so, then it's the kind of thing that we would look at, or yep. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, cool. definitely. Right, Grant. So gone, long gone are the days of like shipping a game <laughs> on a disc and being like, nope, that's it, can't patch it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, next question is from... <laughs> I don't know how to say this username. Uh, Mikey007147. It's yep. like a very long James Bond code name. Um, will there be a system for producing multiple trips per click? Uh, we'd love to add this. Uh, I think it was a Legends, strong Legends feature. Um, but I think at this stage, uh, it's probably going to be a post launch update. Um, Link asks Can me and Nick be BFFs if I beat him in a 1v1? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I'm better at Warlords than I am at other Stronghold games, uh, but you're probably going to win, so yes, almost certainly. <laughs> uh, Dragon Writer again asks, will we be able to build bridges in the map editor? No bridges in Warlords, unfortunately. Sorry. Quara Lotus asks, could we get an update on your improvements to AI? I think this is quite an old question because um, we did the AI improvements dev diary um, in October last year, which feels like a long time ago at the moment. But yeah, go, go check that video out. October feels like a long time ago. I'm still stuck in March last year. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like both a long time ago and not a long time ago, if you know what I mean. Time is kind of meaningless at the moment. It's dark. <laughs> Um, Rocky D12 asks, is it possible to play in skirmish mode without Warlords? Skirmish mode without Warlords? Yes. So um, you'll need to either create a map with no Warlords on it or download one from uh, the Steam Workshop. Because um, all our default maps are obviously designed with Warlords um, in mind. But yeah, if you if you get a custom map in there, you can, you can do that. Cool. Uh, our team asks, what is the purpose of the Bastion structure? The Bastion. Um, I did ask about this the other day. Um, essentially, it's a kind of, it's a low, wide castle wall structure, essentially. So it's, it's a thick wall. Uh, you can put more troops on it. Um, and it has more, um, more defensive power and more HP than if you, if you just pushed um, two walls up against each other. It's, so it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a turret, essentially, um, for, for placing lots of troops on. Cool. Um, Mikey007 again comes to us with a question. Can we press a button to see your castle from above? Uh, yes. Uh, you can click on the eye icon on the minimap, I think, and that'll, that'll do that for you. Because I think we had it in the previous game uh, as spacebar, but obviously that's now the warlord screen. So. Oh, yeah. But yeah, you can do that by clicking the eye. Cool. Uh, next question is from Pepe underscore zero five. Will there be different designs for buildings in the game? Uh, certain buildings, yeah. We've we've made a kind of um, conscious decision to limit this um, how much you know variety we're adding in terms of this because we're a pretty small uh, pretty small team. Um, so we've done our best. You know, we've added uh, various keeps. Um, certain structures will be different. Um, and there's other areas of gameplay to add, you know, immersion where we can. Um, but it definitely won't be a case of, you know, the Vietnamese campaign, completely unique set of buildings. The Chinese campaign, completely unique set of buildings, just because we, you know, there's no way we can do that with about 10 people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, the next question comes from King Power. And they ask, good can name. you add... Yeah, it's, very, it's a very good name. Powerful. Uh, can you add a hotkey for infantry rally points? Sorry, that word is very hard to say for me. Infantry, I don't know why. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, there'll be rally points. I think you can set these for the barracks, the military academy, and the siege camp. Uh, you do that by um, just right-clicking on the ground uh, when you've got the building selected. And then um, for individual troops, I think rallies can also be placed by just right-clicking on the troop builds button uh, and then right-clicking uh, on the ground. Super. Alex73 asks, do lords and warlords slowly regenerate health? No, they do not. I think that would... I think, firstly... It, the, the Lord has always been quite vulnerable in that regard, apart from in games where we've had healing units. Um, and I think to add that at this stage would pretty significantly affect balance. So um, not right now. Um, it's not planned uh, for the game. And there are there are no healing units in Warlords as well, and it's been balanced with that in mind. Just don't die, basically. Don't die. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, next question is from Artican, and they ask, will peasant rebellions and uprising be part of warlords? Um, yeah, so obviously if you, if you treat your peasants badly, your popularity will drop and they'll leave your castle. And then we've also got uh, revolts uh, in there as well as an event in the game, which uh, I believe hammers your popularity. Uh, next question is from Drakenwriter again. Um, will there be a population limit and an option to enlarge it? Uh, yeah, there will be a limit, but uh, we will be giving players the option to remove that in um, all single-player game modes. So um, campaign, skirmish, free builds. Um, you'll just have to edit one of the game files, um, specifically the options.xml. Um, so while this won't appear like in the options menu in-game, it will be there for players who really want it, because we know pe people do want to do that, um, and we'll um, provide instructions on how to do that in the game's manual, which hopefully with this answer, people will now actually read. Next question is from Artican. Will the devs be looking into pro communities? Um, yeah, probably something that will, you know, if there's a if there's a community for it and a demand for it, we'll, you know, be happy to just help help people and kind of support that after launch. But we're, you know, we're a team of ten people, so um, I don't think any game that claimed it was going to be an esports game or a pro gaming title before launch actually became it afterwards. It's, it's generally down to, you know, people to decide whether that's the case or not. But yes, we'll we'll definitely look at, at that after launch, but we've got our, got our hands full. The next question is from King Power again. Uh, will Warlords have DLC for new mystical units? Um, I mean, Asia's, East Asia's got a really, you know, you know, it's got loads of wonderful, scary folklore um, to draw from, but I don't think we have any solid plans to go mystical just yet. But, you know... I like the word mystical. I know. It sounds way <laughs> better than, like, I don't know, fantasy. Fantasy just sounds boring now. Yeah, if I say I'm reading a mystical book, it sounds way more exciting. <laughs> sounds like you've become a shaman or something. <laughs> I like that. Um, the next question is from Ridimon. Um, it just simply says Mantis Warlord? Question <laughs> mark. Insects are a pretty strong theme for warlords, so yeah, we'll we'll, we'll look into it. Cool. Uh, next question is oh, ready, Mon again. Will the warlords have randomised construction choices? Um, they're each planned to have their own um, upgradable um, archetype, um, and obviously we have to balance that complexity with the overall, you know fun factor and ability to control the game properly so um, some degree of predictability is part of that um, but generally they'll have their own archetypes which will be unique to each warlord type and that will be um, you know pretty reliable in the sense of um, you know that you're going to upgrade to this particular level and you're going to get access to this castle and these abilities um, and if that was completely yeah you know, it would be more sort of roguelike if we if we randomize that so at least to begin with no that's not going to be the not going to be the case Clara Lotus asks, will Warlords give you quests? No, they won't. <laughs> um, I think if we made it an RPG, as well as all the other genres going on, it would just be a bad game. So, no, no yeah, quests, I love, unfortunately. I would love a Stronghold RPG. Just <laughs> I would play that. <laughs> Not that I don't play our games already, just I would, I would play an RPG. Who would you play as? Describe. <laughs> Good question. Would you be described? Yeah, You'd be described. Yeah. I love the scribe. I'd be the scribe. Easy. Or maybe the scribe would be, so like, giving quests. I don't know, actually. Hmm. Maybe you would give the quests. What, just me? Nat like, Natasha in the game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as an NPC. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm that famous stronghold character that you all know and love. <laughs> We're rambling. This doesn't make any sense. We're talking crazy now. Um, the next question is from Crowd Lotus again. And he asks, will warlords follow the same game rules as players? Um, for lots of really good design reasons that I won't get into uh, right now, uh, they won't follow the exact same rules as players. Um, the AI will generally this time around, but warlords, um, you know, obviously they'll take some time to send resources and armies like a regular player, so nothing, you know, completely unbelievable. Um, but if they had to obey the exact same rules as players and AI, it would just completely grind the gameplay to a halt. So they'll they'll be predictable in that regard for for fun purposes. The next question is from El Lobo, and they ask, will there be stables in the game? Yep, there will be a stable structure that you can build, and uh, I was about to say spawn horses, but that sounds really 
Sounds really weird, but yes, they will. The, the stables will spawn horses. Better than birth horses. Mm. Or breed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Next question is from Albino Kiwi Bird. Good name. Will there be a uh, APM counter in Warlords? I don't know what this is actually. So. Uh, I think it's actions per minute. Oh. So you know, like when pro StarCraft players are are bragging about their APM. <laughs> is that something that happens? I don't know. Uh, the answer is no, given our confusion. Cool, because I'm having a sip of my coffee there. Um, next question comes from self-destruct button. Can we make small garrisons as well as the main castle? Um, so we've obviously got siege camps and we've got the warlords themselves. Um, so they're kind of you know they're 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 meant to be your garrisons on the on the map. So yes, in the form of those two things, but you won't be able to um, set up a second base, as it were. Yeah, you won't be able to control or build on the warlord's land, will right, you? Yeah, yeah. They, they do their own thing. They're independent contractors, as yep. it were. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question comes from Sir Doom Estos. Have you thought about VO additions for future titles? That's a voice over auditions. Right. Yeah. Um, so we've got quite a few audio guys at the moment, and they obviously prefer to work ideally in person with people, uh, you know, which is what we do outside of um, global pandemic times, um, just because this allows them to get the kind of best performances out of, out of actors. Um, and we probably don't have the, the time to organize physical auditions. <laughs> I mean, it sounds fun. Uh, so we might just do it for a, a marketing video at some point, but um, what? <laughs> I think we've got, I think we've got some, uh, We've got, we've got more than we need in terms of uh, audio support at the moment. <laughs> you mean organize these physical auditions, have actors come in, and then be like, by the way, we're not actually going to hire you, this is just for a marketing <laughs> well, if, video? If, if, if any of them are any good, <laughs> we, we, we might put them forward internally. It's not going to make any promises that I can't deliver on. Uh, next question comes from <laughs> Mr. Summer 2017. He must have had must a good have summer a good that summer, year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they ask, or he asks, I suppose, um, when is this getting released? March 9th, 2021. Uh, next question is from Alex Cool. Did D&D Stronghold Kingdom Simulator 93 inspire Stronghold? I don't know what this is. So th this is a, um, I think it was a Dungeons and Dragons in, uh, branded game. So, because it appeared on GOG uh, a few years ago, and, and that's honestly the first time that... that at least to my knowledge, anyone inside Firefly was, was made aware of it. Um, and I think it's quite a different style of game. I think it's like a quite an old school, um, yeah, simulation focused title. But I, I don't know the specifics, but we, we only found out about it a few years ago, so probably not. D&D can't sue us today. <laughs> um, <laughs> next question comes from Crafter Brecht. Uh, will there be microtransactions? No. Good. Short and easy to the... No, nope, that's not what I meant to say. Quick to the What's point. The f quick to the point, yeah. yeah. Uh, next question is Becky. Uh, she asks, will your Lord respawn after they're killed? Nope. If the Lord dies, it's game over. Next question is from Fish? Fish? It looks like fish, doesn't it? It looks like fish, but three's usually an E. Yeah. Unless that's anyway. like, a, a, like a sports car. Isn't there like a Ferrari... F thirty five or like You're asking a, the wrong person. I mean, I don't really know anything about cars, or <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a very good traditional like male um, in terms of my you know traditional interests. <laughs> but I assume it's like a car or a airplane or something. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? <laughs> it's a fish. <laughs> Is it fish? <laughs> uh, well, anyway, fish or fish asks, can we have warlord promotions at local Asian restaurants? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I love this. I love this question. It's it's great. Um, no, probably not. But I will take the opportunity to shout out to uh, Choja in Clapham Junction, um, ah. which you know pre-lockdown fueled quite a lot of Warlords development. So shout Man, out to Choja. I miss that place. Check them out if you're oh. down there. <sighs> Next question is from Get It. Will we see Shaolin monks in this game? Yes, you will. Um, <laughs> So our, our Shaolin monks in the game are sort of the, the Chinese version. There are obviously loads of cool warrior monk archetypes uh, from Japanese history and Korean history. But um, yeah, ours are sort of visually and gameplay-wise inspired by the Shaolin monks of China. Cool. Uh, the next question is from Edmech55555. <laughs> 
Can we economically cripple an enemy AI? Yes, you can. Um, I think we went over this in the AI improvements video, but the idea is that your enemies will behave uh, more realistically than before and prioritize actions essentially as a human player would. So um, if you cripple their economy, um, this, you know, by design, this should provide a, a human-like satisfying response and um, you'll see it sort of, you know, impact their economy and their play style. Cool. Next question is from Wolfpack5. Will we have a customizable wave-based invasion mode? Uh, yes, um, Asterix, uh, because it will probably be a post-launch update as it's you know often been in the past. So free build mode will be in there at launch, um, but you'll probably have to wait uh, until we can we can add that we can add the invasion functionality um, after release. Well, that's all we have time for in this first part of our Q and A videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe to us and most importantly to wishlist Stronghold Warlords so you can get all the latest updates as soon as they're released. The game is coming out on March 9th so it's not a terribly long time to wait but keep an eye out on the YouTube channel for the next episode of our Q&A. Bye!